My name is Fiona Bevan and I've just been making an album. It is a record of my life recently and it feels really cohesive, it feels really, really right. The devil makes work for idle thumbs, but the devil's so busy. It was all natural timing and you know, organic and human and often that's the kind of thing that doesn't come across in a record. You know, like Fiona's playing her guitar and singing a song to you, and if you went and saw her do that live, it's, you're gonna get the same feeling, you know, it's the same essence. He's so on it with the music, it's unbelievable, and he's so like clued up and like wired into the sounds. So all the songs are basically true stories which are more or less fictionalised. For example, Rebel Without a Cause was definitely affected by the riots that happened like right next to my house. Talk to strangers is kind of my motto for life and it's kind of what we do. If you go out, if you're a musician, you're out every night meeting people and talking to people and I think strangers tell you their secrets. Must never talk to strangers or let the strangeness There are some heartbreaky songs on there. There's a couple of very beautiful, glowy love songs, which are the hardest songs to write really. Yeah, so the sound has definitely been helped a lot by the fact that we've used a lot of old equipment, loads of analogue stuff and, you know, gear from like the 60s and 70s. So it sounds like a record. It really sounds like a record, like a real record, you know? There are quite a few odd little things that made the album a bit special, I think. So, for example, on Last Days of Decadence, we we took the audio that we'd recorded and went and played it back in these tunnels next to the studio, which open out towards the British Museum, and they're like air raid tunnels, I guess, from the Second World War. And we went in there with the audio and then and played it and recorded the echo. So we've got these crazy, like, swells of air raid tunnel echoes and stuff on the track, and it's just extraordinary. They were the last days of decadence before the crash. It was it's, it's intelligent, sophisticated, musical, pop music in the way that pop music used to be. Uh, it's atmospheric, it's cinematic. Um, I think she's an artist in many ways in my own mind, like somebody like a Joni Mitchell. She's connected to that sort of lineage. People that that sang songs with acoustic guitar and they were folky but they were much more musically diverse than folk and folk is too small of a box to put them into. I'm really excited about getting out on the road and gigging these songs. For the last few months I've also been running a night in Dalston at the Servant Jazz Quarters and it was Fiona Bevan Presents, like a, so I had a residency and I would curate the night and um, get a really interesting mixture of people to come and play and it was, it was really really special and it helped me road test loads of the new material actually to really like packed out but small and incredibly um, sort of attentive and lovely crowd and it does feel as if the album has come out of that. I'm really proud of this record because I've never managed to capture that little magic, mysterious thing before, that live vibe, the realness of it, and my personality and my everything that I do in a gig. It's very hard to pin it down into a record, so I think we've managed it. And um, to me, it just feels a little bit magic.